It turns in mathematics where you need to analyze things in terms of their relationships and groups. In order to do that, we define those type of groups as sets. A set in mathematics is basically a group of numbers or a group of points or a group of any type of quantitative data that can be organized in any form or fashion or in some type of category. And the process of creating analyzed sets and the different properties of sets is a part of the branch of mathematics known as set theory. Take for instance this vein diagram which has sets A and B. You have a total of 26 points. Six of those points are not members of either set. You have nine points that are exclusive members of set A. That means they are only members of set B A and they are not also members of set B. You have eight points that are exclusively members of set B, which means that they are only members of set B and not also members of set A. You have three points that are members of both sets A and B. That means they could be categorized into either group. Vein diagrams are a very easy and convenient way to categorize data into groups to be analyzed later. For example, you could take set A as the number of questions answered correctly on the test and set B as the number of questions answered incorrectly on the test and members of sets A and B would be questions in which partial credit was received. You could then say that the outside members of the sets are questions in which credit was not issued.